Hi, I'm Kevin Smith, one of the 10 finalists in the EBTV Build Your Own Dream Vehicle competition. Most vehicles converted today are some type of collector's vehicle. It's because if you're going to convert an electric vehicle, you want to pick a vehicle you like. You're going to be with it for a long time. But that only answers half of the equation. The other half is how do you make it efficient and how do you make it perform the way you want to. With seven, our entry to the Progressive Automotive X Prize, we built a vehicle that goes over 130 miles an hour and gets over 200 miles per gallon. What we propose is to take some of the techniques we used in this vehicle and apply them to our conversion of our collector's vehicle, a 1978 AMC Gremlin. Some of our goals for this vehicle will be to achieve at least 120 miles per gallon and 120 miles per hour. We're going to do this by taking out not only the existing engine, but we're going to remove the transmission. A transmission converts energy or torque from a gasoline vehicle to power to move the vehicle forwards. However, in doing so, you have a lot of lost energy in the form of heat. If you put your hand on a transmission, you'll find out that they're pretty warm, even a manual transmission. One of the things we did with 7 was we have a single gear drive. We started with a 5-speed, we're down to 1, our efficiency went up. So we're going to hook the, mo the electric motor directly to the drive shaft. Also, to increase aerodynamics, we're not going to touch the outside of the car. No one wants to mess with their collector's vehicle. Whether it be a 57 Porsche or a 1969 Corvette, they like the way the vehicle looks. That's why it's their collector's vehicle. What we're going to do with the Gremlin in order to increase its aerodynamics is put the battery box in one location at the front. This will serve many purposes. Not only will it make it easy to access the batteries and check them for balancing and charging issues, but we can build the box so it blocks most of the airflow that would normally come in to a large open space in the front of the AMC Gremlin. You get for approximately 11 to 17% of your aerodynamic drag or inefficiencies from the engine bay on your car. That's just from the air moving through the engine bay. So the box will serve two purposes, not only to hold the batteries, but to block off a lot of that airflow and give us a smooth underneath to the vehicle. That's just a couple of the techniques we're going to use and go through with you in a step-by-step -step manner that allow you to build your own vehicle in a succinct way. We're going to do this <coughs> Throughout the build, we're going to post videos, have material lists and blog postings on a dedicated page on our site, so you can follow through and use these techniques for yourself. So vote for me, Kevin Smith, at Illuminati Motorworks, and help us build the new EV conversion manual 